Hello to all and welcome to Josie K. Tarot's Daily Spiritual Advice Reading. This energy read is going to cover uh, August 29th and 30th of 2023. And for this reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of guidance, especially for the 29th and 30th of August of 2023. So we have got still that waxing gibbous moon of reflection, uh, not seeking approval from the world around you, doing what you want for yourself. I think the 29th and the 30th is going to be an energy of uh, emotional freedom, um, the realization of uh, <clears throat> independence, like I worked hard to get here, and no matter what people think, I am going to focus on uh, my desires. Okay, now to start off with, we do have the slow moving nine of discs or pentacles energy. So there are many of the collective who may be, especially on the 29th is what I'm feeling, waiting for a person or opportunity uh, to come their way. Uh, but Spirit has been saying we are guiding the collective in a divinely timed way, especially in relation to what they are creating for themselves, uh, to let things unfold and trust that what you desire is coming when divine timing permits. <clears throat> Yeah, so we talked a little bit about this during the 27th and 8th reading. Uh, on the 29th and 30th of August of 2023, we do have the Five of Cups energy. So someone is crying over spilt milk, right? Focusing on the little things. Uh, focusing uh, on what they used to have in comparison to what is slowly arriving. And here it comes. We have the beautiful seven of discs or pentacles, pentacles energy in the relationship sector of the circle spread. So there will be this energy, I think, more closely to the 30th of August, where the collective is going to be giving themselves a hefty pat on the back. Because there's this awareness that some form of new doorway or opportunity has finally arrived. So in the creative aspects position, we've been seeing the Four of Pentacles energy later in the reading, and it's moving much closer now. Spirit's saying whatever you are putting your effort into, eventually you're going to recognize that your proverbial ship has come in, that your efforts have paid off, that you even have something that you should uh, share with your family and friends. In the actions position, another message like we had back around the Capricorn moon of the 27th and 28th of August. Uh, if you are worried and concerned about money or you're clinging to money too tightly, uh, this whole negative thinking will darken one's aura and will repel or slow this information from coming in. Uh, you're, it will slow the outcome of your hard work. Here we have the star card again. So the star card's been showing up all through the last uh, two, three weeks of August here. Uh, it was in the thoughts position. It was slowly being created here. So by the 30th, and for some it could be during the full moon on the 31st of August, there's this realization that some form of wish has come true. So emotionally, there's like, oh my gosh, this person or situation finally came my way. My hard work has paid off. New doorways are opening in relation to others. And now I can let go of this worry that I had in the area of what used to be and what can be. Uh, take action because we have the five of pentacles in the actions position to again free your worries and concerns if you're thinking negatively about money or you're worrying about uh, things of the material spirit saying we are helping for those things to develop positively for you with the star card so subconsciously that's kind of the same message with the four of discs open yourself up to the possibilities trust that what you are waiting for is on its way we 
we have this husbandry energy, uh, this earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone in the area of money and business coming towards you to offer you the wish of the star energy. So the major arcana is spirit's way of saying we are helping to give hope uh, during this in-between time that a wish is coming true if it hasn't already. So day to day, we have some who are still going through this rebirth, right? Uh, are recognizing that, you know what? What used to be was and now with the Five of Cups in the Thoughts position, I'm letting go of old regrets. There's this awareness here that's developing on the 29th and 30th of August that things burnt down because of the new things that are now to be born. Okay, that what you are waiting for has come. And when it does, spirit with this judgment energy is going to help you to make the best decisions to get out of your own way. So in the inner strengths position, we have the rivalry card. This seven of wands is sometimes conflict when it comes to those around us. This could be, I am conflicted about what action steps to take regarding those around me, regarding the area of business. I'm fearing with the five of pentacles and the fourth of pentacles of materialism. Um, is this ever going to turn out for me, but spirit saying yes, you are developing through your creativity uh, an opportunity to go into the direction of triumph. So, in a three card summary with the same sacred circle tarot, we have the two of discs, the beautiful shaman energy, and the two of wands. So, yes, go playfully into the direction of new offers, opportunities. Uh, creative ideas, uh, marketing a product, learning how to do something, um, go playfully forward, right? Because as you look excitedly towards the future, so too will this wish speed up and come towards you. Yeah, there's someone here who is uh, dealing with maybe a negative energy. Uh, there is, with the Seven of Swords, worry and concern about communicating with someone else like when is this communication going to come kind of like that uh knight of pentacles energy but spirit saying we're giving you the warrior energies uh this leather this strong sword energy the ability to trust that eventually the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor uh, you can handle this in-between moment uh, free yourself from any negative uh, emotions, complicated emotions, because someone's going to, and we've been seeing the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups coming together, wanting to work with you and uh, bring uh, your concerns to a successful completion. So there we have the Three of Wands, three projects, ideas, uh, financial business plans uh, they are what are leading you towards the development of the four of pentacles great financial gain so spirit saying when this offer or opportunity comes you will be able to abandon the suffering the discontent Yes, wow, look at this. So we have Spirit confirming that the collective right now on the 20, uh, 29th and 30th, pardon me, of August are manifesting slowly but surely the initiation of a new path. So it's a great time to look back at all the things you've tried up to this point, the things even that have failed because every experience or journey advances us uh, back to the center to start again. So what are you going to manifest if you already have put a lot of effort in here? Trust that Spirit's helping you to initiate eventually uh, a decision here to uh, recover from A couple things. <laughs> uh, an old business situation that maybe at one point you were passionate about or a connection um, that you feel is closed off. Uh, I don't see a lot about love. I see more here about the reflection, the waiting for kind words, messages, and offer of success. And we've been talking about this. This is building for many. Someone here is trying to get to the truth of a situation I heard regarding um, a Taurus. Feeling like you're conflicted, uh, waiting for them to move forward. And I think this is just naturally their energy, but uh, and that things will become more balanced over time. 
Okay, and we have the Druid energy, the ability to manifest uh, the courage when the time comes, right? There's eventually going to be two decisions here with the Two of Wands. So uh, wait and use your intuition because something is developing and it is going to be meant to be. It's, it's a higher path and there's this process of rebirth in between. Uh, I have grown, I have evolved, and I'm no longer restricted by my current circumstances or my fears. I trust that spirit is slowly but surely bringing me the, the wish I am or have been working towards. So see, there's going to be quick unexpected action that may cause the conflict, the collective with the Eight of Wands to go back into the Seven of Wands and be a little bit unsure about what steps to take. And that's why Spirit's giving the Queen of Wands energies, male or female, the strength to go forward excitedly, to look forward to setting and meeting goals uh, for the future. Because there is some form of communication with the Page of Wands that has potential here regarding someone who's in a leadership position or there is a financial path of abundance that is developing here. A wish come true. We have air energy, but I feel yeah, it could be air Aquarius with the star card. Someone's waiting on that person. They're dragging their feet and there's fear of money. You're having this fear. They're having this fear and it's causing inner conflict. But... Um, I think eventually things are going to open up. Things are going to transpire. Look at this. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So there's a soul connection here. Whether you're both air signs or not, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, this is two people who are uh, very clear about what they desire. Uh, they are very um, to the point, uh, but also fair. Uh, so I feel like this is an offer coming in, swords representing business, where the connection feels right, and then we have the world tree. This realization that an old path is ended with the world card, and that the portal of a new opportunity has come in. So I do feel like the star energy is going to be like, uh, by the end of the day on the 30th, someone here is... Um, coming out of those concerns regarding money because a wish finally shows up. And then we have the courage to make a decision about that wish and spirit saying yes. Say yes with the nine of cups. So I'm going to close with a message from the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle deck closing message regarding this circle spread for August 29th and 30th. Dear Lord Spirit Guides, and angels, yes, this is your divine purpose. What you've been working hard towards is what is coming towards you, right? What you want, wants you. And there's going to come a time where you recognize that your hard work has paid off, that you are rising into a greater position of pay, abundance, stability, or are finally um, finding a path of stability. So this card says the experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. Okay, for some, someone's dragging their feet. They're, you're feeling unfulfilled. I think this is so much of understanding. I'm creating the purpose that I want for myself in this life, right? This is a number seven year. Whatever you put your effort into, so too will this be the year where a doorway of triumph will open up for the long term. So something is being divinely guided to come your way. It just may be slow moving, whether it's professional or personal. But spirit is saying, have no fear. Archangel Michael is with you. Even though you can't see it, I'm here and I'm helping you. And just like the card we saw representing, I think the 27th hmm, and 28th of August, there was this magical moment. So we still have the same type of energy where wishes are being fulfilled. Your energetic space is, is a space where spirit's helping the collective to manifest miracles. But if we are still in this energy of feeling restricted and worrying about money, so too will we darken our aura and repel the abundance from coming. So when a doorway opens in the area of business, spirits giving the collective in the inner strengths position, the seven of wands, uh, the ability to make a decision um, 
because in some cases I feel like a decision is going to show up quickly and it's going to be hard to know, is this my purpose? Is this the right direction? But Spirit's saying, yeah, we're going to help you to make a decision to build a foundation that you're proud of um, and to wish, make your wishes. Look at this. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. Embrace this magical moment. And they're confirming with the star right behind that. They're saying you will manifest what it is that you need. You just need to trust that spirit's got your back. When the opportunity comes, say yes. Recognize the signs and trust that you are ready for so much more than what has burnt down and been before. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey, uh, feel free to write me for a personal reading or uh, just for a general reading at uh, my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute, one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for those likes, those shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.